So the landing party will assemble in transporter room 3 as soon as we achieve orbit of the water world of Argo. You all have your orders. Any last questions? No, sir. Except to say, I can't wait. In that case, dismissed. How exciting. We're heading back to the water planet of Argo. It's been almost eight months since our trip there, where the captain and Spock accidentally became water breathers for a time. It'll be fascinating to see that interesting culture again, a whole planet of intelligent underwater peoples. But I may find it hard to deal with sub-prefect Ryla. Why is that? Wasn't she one of the young Aquans who helped the captain and Spock return to normal? Yes, but I did some reading. And generations ago, the Aquans used to use Argo sea stallions as beasts of burden. Yes. I heard that that was long before they understood that the Sea Stallions were sentient beings. What's that got to do with Ryla? Her family, six generations ago, had a large herd of Sea Stallions that they bred for sale. I'll hardly be able to look her in the eyes. But they didn't know any better back then. Now the Sea Stallions have their own villages and live in peace with the Aquans of Argo. That doesn't change anything. Well, hmm. Excuse me, ladies. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spock? The argument you are employing, nurse, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits presentism, a common fallacy when analyzing events of the historical past. I thought she was making preset sense. That may be so, Yeoman, but her argument was logically invalid. In literary and historical analysis, presentism is a pejorative term for the introduction of present-day ideas and perspectives into depictions or interpretations of the past. Federation historians seek to avoid presentism in their work because it is a form of cultural bias and it tends to create a distorted understanding of their subject matter. Among historians, the orthodox view holds that reading modern notions of morality into the past is to commit the error of presentism. To avoid this, historians restrict themselves to only describing what happened and attempt to refrain from using language that passes judgment. Nurse Chapel, you exhibited this fallacy when you showed disdain for Ryla and her present family, because centuries ago her people acted completely in accordance with the knowledge they possessed at the time. Rather than applaud the perfectly acceptable state of current treatment of the Sea Stallions, you chose to condemn Ryla and her people for the crime of being related to individuals who acted without malice generations ago. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Oh, I should reassess my thinking. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the fallacy of presentism. It's only logical 